In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a mini scheme out of the shotgun spread playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on helping you get better at Madden NFL 20 and ultimately at Madden NFL 21. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about kind of the five sets for success. We're going to talk about the base formation from the spread playbook. Now, a, a base formation is something that you can utilize to beat man, to beat zone. And we've talked a little bit about the spread, but one of the ones that I wanted to highlight for you here is this doubles Y flex offset. As you can see, there's several different plays, and I want to actually talk specifically today about this RPO double screen angle smash. And then you can set this four verticals in here. What I would recommend is probably setting fork wheel uh, or shallow cross as an audible either one of those and then coming out in the play uh coming out in the play fork wheel now what this is going to do is this this offense is specifically designed to kind of be a little bit of a spread look get you a good look at that and we can run any concepts that we want to run from this spread look from this doubles y flex offset so um a couple of things that you want to know when you're setting up a base play you want to when I when I talk about base play, what I think of is I think of a power play. I think of something that is really going to make a big big difference in what you do. Now, when we talk about offense and passing, one of the things that I'm trying to think a little bit differently on, and I'd invite you to do it with me, is route combinations. What I mean is, what are your three to five route combinations, your concepts, and then also packaging specific concepts for specific situations. So. How that's going to work with this play here, angle smash. You've got a couple of different options that you can t basically do here. You can see I can motion the running back to the right. I can motion him to the left. One of the other things that you want to look at is where can you motion people? So can you motion, if I want to motion Allison, what does that do to the formation? This is something that you want to really test because it's going to really give you a nice little a nice little advantage knowing everything that your formation can do. To me, this is so, so, so critical because defenders react differently when the guy's on the line versus when he's off the line. Um, another thing you want to check here, you see I can motion Jimmy Graham out and kind of flex him out, and now I'm in gun spread, basically, right? I could also motion him to the left. So you want to go through your formation. Anytime I'm labbing up a new scheme, I basically check and see what do all the motions mean for the routes, what do all the motions mean for the routes? Now, angle smash, this is a play that I'm going to be talking about. And the reason I want to I want to really hammer this home is because this is a play that you can do a lot of different things with. So just because you call the play shallow cross, it doesn't mean we're actually going to run the shallow cross. What we could do with this play very simply is I can take Jimmy Graham and I'm going to put him on a streak. I'm going to take Devontae Adams and put him on a little um, a little block or a little drag. I'm going to take the running back, put him on a block and release. And then now what you see here is I've created a levels concept. Now, levels is very, very simple concept that you could run. Um, it's in, in my opinion, it's probably the best concept that, that I've ever been able to come up with and master because it's such a simple, simple, simple read. But you'll see here at the snap of the ball, basically what you're going to do is you're going to read this left side high to low. What I like to do is I like to look at Jimmy Graham first. Can I throw, do I have a window to throw that? If I don't, I come back to the levels. And as you can see, I can typically fit that route into Devonte Adams. He's going to come underneath pretty much every single zone in the game because of the way that the rerouting works this year. That that deep dig route is going to get rerouted. I pretty much guarantee you, it's going to get rerouted. And really, what you want to do is if you really if you really want to leverage this, you want to take Allison and motion him to the left so that he goes on the line. And you're going to see this is literally just a very basic levels concept, but you'll see how that gets so wide open, so 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 wide open. Um, and again, very simple concept, very little to understand other than the fact, and you could run the same thing from angle smash, and we'll get into that in just a minute. But this is all about um, a base play, base formation has a couple of different, uh, has a lot of different options with a couple of concepts that fit really well together. So why shallow cross? Again, the reason we're calling this is because we want to take advantage of this specific route, which is a deep dig route, which you can't get those hot. I mean, you can hot route it, but it's not, it goes a little bit deeper than the hot routed dig route. And that's kind of why I like it. So again, motion Allison to the left, you see, it's going to put him on the line of scrimmage. And then you're just going to run a very basic levels concept. And you have a stock out route on this, as you can see there, it's not always it's not always the best. Um, if they're off coverage, I'm gonna leave him on an out route. 
But if they press, you'll see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him and put him on a comeback. The reason I'm going to do that is because the comeback is kind of a two-window route. You can actually you can actually throw it early uh, for a little bit of a user catch. But you can also, you'll see this route will get pretty much open against any coverage. But it's going to be a nice check down. So if the backside levels, whoops, I got a little pressured there. But if the backside levels concept is taken away, then you can work the, or if the play side levels concept is taken away, then you can then work the backside um, on this route. Now you see here, see how he is, um, see how the corner on the left side is backed off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him on that out route, and you'll see at the snap of the ball, he's going to get pretty good separation. So those are just some basic rules for this specific package that you can do now what i like about this is you can then come into something like this angle smash play and what angle smash play is is it's literally a constraint theory play off of off of what we were running from levels okay so levels if you think about it if you think about what we're creating from shallow cross this is basically what we were creating something like this and then we were taking him and putting him on the line of scrimmage so that he could get a little bit deeper on that dig route. And the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is both of those routes. And, I, and, and, and man coverage can man coverage can kind of, if he has the inside position, he has the inside positioning. But then what's going to happen is you go to a play like this, angle smash. Now I could take, Devon, and I'm going to do the same motion, put Allison there on the left. And really... That's pretty much it. I mean, I could run a backside levels if I want to. I could pair it, right? I could take Lazard and put him on an in route. And you'll see with the timing of the play, you know how a snap read to your back, which is, is typically more effective than that. <laughs> but the snap read to your back that you can do, you also have this play side smash concept. So I can throw that route right there, that little pass with a pass lead to the outside on Devontae Adams. I can literally pop that pretty much all day long. They have to hard flat on that side to take it away. And it's again, it's a very simple, and I don't see a lot of hard flats this year, but you'll see against man to man, he's going to get really good separation. And as you can see with pocket lead ability, you can, you can really do some stuff with that. So that's just a very basic route combination from this spread set that you can do. That's going to be very, very effective. You see here that your tight end routes coming over the middle. And he's he's not getting great separation uh, against that specific coverage, but he's going to be a seam read. And what I like about having a seam read is a lot of people like to take that deep third away. And so you can check into that late as well. And then if nothing's open, you can obviously step up in the pocket and scramble. So this is a little bit about zone beaters. Let's talk about man beaters. So angle or the, the play you come out in fork wheel. You see, you've got this really good, really good route to the left. You've got a nice wheel route, right? You've got a nice little running back out route or in route, however you want to look at it. And then you have this post route to Devontae Adams. So the question is, how do you leverage all of these routes to make a concept? That's really what we're after, right? And so what I like to do is I like to do something like this. Take the, take, take the back side, and we're just going to run a very simple stick concept. On the back side, we're going to have a hitch. And then Lazard, if the cornerback is pressed up, we're going to take him and put him on a fade. If he's backed off, we'll put him on a, crumb, a comeback, okay, or a comeback or an out route, smart routed. But you're going to work this two-man combination on the left side. And you'll see here that route to triangle will typically, typically beat man-to-man. -man. And if it doesn't, like it didn't right there, what you'll see is you can then, and this is a kills match coverage. As you can see there, that was a little bit of a cover three match look that we got. And we'll have a man beater specific concept that we can go to at any time, right? The base play is not designed. Base formation is not designed to destroy man-to-man -man coverage. It's designed to be effective against man-to-man -man coverage, but again, not designed to destroy it. But you'll see those wheel routes will get open against man-to-man. -man. A lot of it is if you have good route running. That's one of the other keys. That's why, to me, if you're going to pass the ball, I think it's so important to have receivers that have good route running uh, and all that. And then there you see there's the post route against the zone. And as you can see, that post route is very, very, um, very, very significant. 
All right, so then let's take a look here at P.A. Reed. So P.A. Reed, when you think about route combinations, so now that slot, he's been on a corner, he's been on an in route, now he's going to go on a crossing route. Very simple crossing route concept here. And all we're going to do to set this up is I'm going to take Lazard and put him on a streak or a fade. And then Jimmy Graham, I'm going to put him on a drag, a stick route, or an out route. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But you'll see you get that crossing route wide open. The other thing that you'll do with that post route on the back side, that post route is going to be more of a, you see how it's kind of angled? See that? It's, 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 it's really angled. What you can do with that is if you did a basic route combination, just something simple like this right here, 10-yard out route, pair that with an in route, you'll see that post route is going to do really good against specific coverages that the defense is going to run. But let me show you. This is very simple here. This is a very simple route combination. And one of the things I've actually started doing is motioning in. Whoops. Um, you see I can motion that hitch route to the left side. Now the tight end's on a little baby hitch. And now I'm in wide trips, three by one. And you'll see it, it significantly changes things. The PA read play is a little bit of a, a little bit of a read that requires time in the pocket. OK, so you'll definitely want to block your running back. What I like to do is kind of slide, protect, block my running back, kind of set some things up there. And then again, just that five yard. That's I, I think the five yard out route works best. But you'll see here that route to um, that route over the top. That post route is a is a really good route for. Uh, for cover two and for cover three and you'll see here if I can get if I can get the time in the pocket to hit it basically you're going to either hit the crossing route or you're going to hit the um, the post route and if they're doing a lot of pass you know heavy pressure things like that you can run this RPO read screen and what I like about it is you have a screen to both sides of the field so if they set up pressure off of either edge whichever side they set the pressure off of you can hit them with these RPOs you got a bubble screen to the left and you've got a read screen to the right so that's that's another thing that you have in your arsenal in this base play scenario and again it's an RPO so you can also run with Rodgers I think this is probably the best RPO in the game at least in my opinion, it may, may not be the most dominant, but it gives you the most options. And then you pair all of this with your angle smash play and everything else you're doing. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a lot of advantages. And if they start blitzing you, you've got options. You've got options from this formation. So this is just a very basic formation. Uh, honestly, it's it's very vanilla from spread, but there's some really unique things we can do. And you'll see. If you've got a good, uh, if you've got a good wide receiver, and I think because I'm going against so much random defense, let me show you. Um, let me just show you this specific defense I want to talk about that you're gonna see. And from spread, you have PA deep outs, and you can work out of the spread. We talked a lot about the spread, so I didn't. I wanted to do a, a different formation for you, but you'll see fork wheel. You have four verticals. I mean, you just have a lot of options here. But if you come out and they come, if you come out in something like, if they come out in like a nickel, normal, and and we'll just call, actually, we'll just call any dollar play. You'll see here what happens is, PA read, snap of the ball. Gosh, we're getting so we're getting so pressured. It's insane. The practice mode sheds are just crazy. But you see here, you can hit that route on that little smash route. And I'll tell you what, most people don't run that. That smash concept this year is really good because of how effective rollout corners are and also how effective hitches are. I mean, hitches are so effective this year. Another thing you could do with this, and again, this is what I'm saying about motion. You can Because you put him on that line of scrimmage, it's going to make that hitch route go just a little bit shallower. And it's going to make a difference in how the defense is going to play it. Those are the little things that you can do. Depending on the defense, depending on the look, right? And you also have you also have the ability to work your, your bubble screen, right? If they're on either side, 
And then the angle smash play, what I would do is I would pair it with like a levels concept, something very, very simple like this, but a long concept, long drag, and you'll see you'll be able to hit that. Now, if you're facing a lot of man-to-man, -man, like you see me facing in this in this episode, then what you can do is you can work your fork wheel play. You can also, um, if you work your... You see those low pass hitches, they're going to get underneath man to man. So you can also work that concept. You can also work the standard shell across if you wanted to. This standard shell across will will do just fine for you. Okay? So there's options from this. There's some air raid principles that carry over. What I was hoping to show you guys the most today was the shallow cross when you pair it with levels and you can turn it how you can turn um, one play into a completely another concept and it's all about your route combinations it's not about your whatever um, you know if I run angle smash I don't have to leave Allison on a corner route in fact I could take him to the right side of the field and now he's on a post route right and then I can literally set up something like this and turn it into mesh and now I've got a seam read I've got a post route you know what I mean so that's what I'm talking about when I talk about route combinations. It can help you a lot as you're going to be innovative about different things. And hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you would like more specific setups, let me know in the description. I can certainly do that for you. I was trying to give you a little bit more of a conceptual um, thing as I'm building this from the spread. But very much so. Um, and as you can see, we're just getting shedded like crazy right now from practice mode so we're not really able to show a whole lot but you'll see here this route good lord the route the the over top route will beat cover three that post route and you won't get shed like this in a regular game i mean you'll get you might get blitzed like this in a regular game but let me just um and you'll see here when we go max protect you can max protect this have time in the pocket And I should be able to hit that post route, but we're still getting shedded like crazy. <laughs> but you can go max protect, and you see the tight end will block. And then from there, you can run a basic in route, five yard in route, which is going to be a vertical stem. And you'll be able to hit that over the top. You can ag that. You can also hit the crosser on that route. And again, it all depends on the coverage shell they run, right? But part of it is it's that chess match. Like right here, he's showing blitz off the left side. So I can run a very simple levels concept, and there's no one to stop that in route. I also have the dig. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about creating concepts. We're going to talk a lot about um, – what I'd like to do is talk a lot about concepts as well because I think that will help. I think that will help everyone um because you can create concepts right um principles you can create that from any formation it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be gun spread it could be gun stack it can be gun whatever um so we're going to dive into that a little bit more with our five sets for success but in a nutshell i like a two by two spread as a base formation and and honestly going kind of vanilla as we're still getting shedded like crazy. This is absolutely insane. Practice mode is killing me in this video. But uh, hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully you saw some some things that will work really well for you. And it's Aaron Rodgers is going to overthrow another ball. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to test this formation out. There's a lot you can do with it. And I want you to be as creative as you can be. Again, with simple smash read, right, you can motion Jimmy Graham over to the left side. Now you're in a three-by-one set. And now the defense is going to guard everything differently. You see you're going to be able to hit that corner route. So those are what I want you to really dig into a little bit today. Get into the lab, work on some concepts, and we're going to go over a little bit more of um, kind of a, a simple concept series because in Madden 20, that's, that's what's going to transfer the most. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.